and hello everybody welcome back to another episode of our insurgents egglock now in the last episode um i will use a repel just a normal one we of course defeated i cannot remember it was a guy with a strong team uh but yeah we defeated him and we learned some more stuff about what's actually happening but at the same time we didn't really learn anything we just learned that we're gonna betray each other so where do i have to go Oh yeah, it's right here. So yeah, that's always fun. Um, I just want to make it out of here. Am I there? I think I'm here, right? I think this is the exit. Yes. Okay, so I did not do... I literally didn't do anything after um, that happened. You know, people like you should spend more time... Uh, leave me alone, I almost died. Um, actually, talking about dying. We haven't lost a Pokemon in a really long time, I feel like. I hope I didn't start anything by saying that, but... Eh, I, I, I believe in myself. Now, I'm gonna be honest. I don't really know what I have to do. Like, is there a gym here? Oops, I did not mean to go in back in here. My bad. Like, is there like a gym here? Or, I mean, I believe this was blocked off last time. Oh, it's not blocked off anymore. Okay, so I guess we can continue on routes. Let's say I ate. Yes, route 8. Now first I wanna see, do I have any balls? Okay, I got some Nuzlocke balls. Okay, nice. Um, now who will I put up front? I mean, your attack... Your special attack is pretty bad, Hippie Hood. Do you have a special attacking move? No. Um... I do not know who to use at the front. Let's put Spear Shot up front. Which I read the comments, you guys told me I should probably learn the strong water type move to Spear Shot. I just don't know where I can find that. I should probably do that between episodes. Um, because, uh, like, spikes, I will never really use spikes. Let's see our encounter. A Kangaskhan, okay. That's actually pretty scary. But also pretty beefy. Mm. You have Aura Sphere, but this is gonna one shot, I think. Mm. I wanna go Hippie Hoot. Let's go Hippie Hoot. Crunch, okay. Because I don't think a bullet seed will kill. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, three times is perfect. Okay, now let's go back to... Let's go to Hyperion, actually. Oh, no. Yeah, no, yeah. You have good defense. You have good defense. That's right. Okay, perfect. Perfect. So, I should... I should... F I should just try to find a place where I can find a water type move. Oh yeah, that's right, Surf isn't even in the game I'm thinking about. It. I was thinking I'll probably get Surf soon, but I can already Surf. Um, maybe like a Muddy Water or a Water Pulse. I mean, Water Pulse is like a pretty decent move in my opinion. Or we're gonna have to say bye to Spear Shot, which I just don't want to do. Like, Spear Shot has been with us since the start. Like, how can I, how can I give up on Spear Shot? Like, the only reason I would... Drop spear shot is if I got a really cool water type. It's the only reason. And I don't know if there are any. There probably are some. But yeah, let's get that Kangaskhan to raid it out. Because, like, in here, like, the only water types we have is like um, uh, Lombre, Weasel, and Frogadier, which I know Frogadier is a really good Pokemon, but yeah. It's not that cool. Wait, there's four in here? Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, now box eight? Yeah, box eight. Let's get the randomizer back, of course. And it works immediately, nice. Uh, one out of six. Generate. We got a five, and one out of five, we got a three. Okay. Oh, we already have that one, it's a Rodom. Oh. I'm gonna go again. One out of six is a three. I swear if this is a five. Okay, three and one. Okay. Three, one. Uh, this Pokemon right here, Goku. I love Goku. 
Oh yeah, I have to... Wait. I talked about Dragon Ball, I think, last episode or the episode before. I personally like Vegeta more than Goku. But, I mean, I love Dragon Ball, so I love Goku. Let's so... Is there any Pokemon that could be... Like, that, that looks like Goku in the regular Pokemon games? Not really. But let's see who's it's gonna be. Maybe a Topaz. Okay, that eh, kinda makes sense, kinda makes sense. Um, cool Pokemon, not a Delta form. Strong Pokemon, not a Delta form. And we're back out here. I was actually thinking about this. Uh, well, it's a trainer. Looks like an electric type trainer, so let's put... I actually don't really have anything for electric types. I guess Elsa, because it's ice type and is a electric type. Um, I should probably kind of... Oh wait, hidden grotto? That's right, I have to look at... Oh, I probably missed so many hidden grottos. I really haven't been paying attention. No, what I was gonna say... Okay, what I was gonna say is I should probably... Um, prepare for the next gym, which I think is like very normal type, so I have no idea what typing is gonna be strong against that. Like, I'm so bad at knowing type, like super effectiveness, like... Okay, the only type that's good against normal is fighting. But I'm like 100% sure that f fighting is not very effective against fairy. So should I just focus on the fairy types? Or should I just go for like... I believe poison is good against fairy? Yeah, I don't know. Um, actually, what level are these Pokemon, I wonder? Well, 44, so yeah, I'm still over leveled. Oops. Um, Psychic should doesn't one shot again. Yeah, I'm still over leveled. I, I really should stop over leveling. It's just because I'm scared to lose, but I also do realize that that kind of takes maybe not the fun, but like the difficulty out of the game. Since I'm just over leveled. But then again, it's not like I'm awesome oh, ultra ball. I kind of want that. It's not like I'm like 10 levels over leveled. Like it's not ridiculous. That's a rare candy. Hey. Yeah, grottos. I probably missed so many grottos. You know what? If I remember, maybe next episode I should go look around for like potential grottos that I missed. I mean, I know how a grotto looks like. Oh, I believe you have flying type, so it's gonna be great for Elsa. Okay, you have a sand slash. Pretty sure Ice Beam should one shot. Nice. You know what? I'm actually. Ice Beam still super effective, nice. I'm actually gonna look up I'm super effective chart. I'm sorry for doing this again. You know what, let's let's look at it together. So, we have to fight against fairy types, okay, so. That means fight, okay, so fighting will not be a good choice. A poison is good. Bug is bad. Ghosts. Oh, it's dragon. Okay, dragon doesn't do anything. Okay, and steel is good as well. We have Hyperion, but it doesn't know steel that move, I think. And I, let's look at fairy here. So fairy is great against... Ice? No, fighting. Yeah, fairy is great against fighting, ghost, and dragon. Oh, I did not know that about... No. Dragon and dark. Okay, so I should not use dark. Ah. Sensitive eye over over. Should I, I, sh I should not use dark, dragon, or um, fighting types. And I should use poison or steel. Okay. Okay. Okay, I, I think I can understand. And it's still gonna be um, difficult to find a good Pokemon. Actually, does, does Hyperion. Do you have a steel type move? Like maybe Iron Head? You have Iron Head! Ooh. Okay, so Hyperion could work. Um, yeah, I could. I mean, I could use you just to use you. I mean, it wouldn't be great. Say what. Uh, actually, I could use everyone, I think. Yeah, I can literally use everyone on the team. Just Hyperion's gonna be like. good. Another Ultra Ball, nice. Well, we learned something new 
today. That's that's important. I should probably not try to run against Rapidash. So should I then put Hyperion up front? Ah, the other thing is, you know what? Actually, no, no, no. We're gonna prepare for this, okay? Because I'm not gonna like lose another Pokemon just because I'm underprepared. Let's go back, and I will actually see. Whoops. No, what am I doing? No, oh my god, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, no, no, no. I was, I was gonna say if I have like a Mega Evolution uh, Pokemon that's like Steel or Poison type. But I know I don't, I know I only have Venusaur, I can Mega Evolve. Uh, oh, Snorlax. Hello, do you guys wanna put a TM for a rare weather inducing move in the UTR library? I actually have that move, the TM. Always examine every nook and cranny of new area, you never know. Okay. By looking under Celine City, I saw a rundown tower shock full of rare Pokemon. Wait, is that the is that the, the place we were just at? No, it's Utira. Where's the town he was talking about? Oh maybe it's the next town. Wait, where are we? Yeah, we're here. We are. We are town Sonata. Sonata Kepler. Nasca. Selene. Oh, that's really far away. Yeah, I, I, I feel like they're heavily hinting at um, there being a grotto, possibly. <laughs> hey, Hariyama. I mean, Hariyama could really fuck me up. But at the same time, I have great defense, so... Okay. Okay, okay. you know what? <laughs> let's not. Let's just go into Brains. Super effective Psychic. Let's just do that. I should have Mega Evolved as well, just to be just to be sure. I should have Mega Evolved, but I didn't. Um, I am actually, I think... Let's go for one more... Yeah, you're a trainer. Okay, let's go for one more trainer. Let's put Apophis up front. And then I will go back and heal, I think. Oh, yeah, Psychic types. Ah, see? You know what? No, I'm gonna do it again. You guys are gonna learn with me. So, he has a Psychic type. So, the attacking is Psychic. Where's Psychic? It's right here. So, Psychic is good against Poison, Fighting, I knew that. It's bad against Psychic. It's useless against Dark. And half against Steel, I actually did not know that. But nothing for Ghost? Okay, nothing for Ghost. Okay, now I'm attacking. Whoops, I'm attacking with Ghost. Whoops, I did not need to do that. How good is it? Okay, it's, okay so it's nothing against Psychic. Okay. Like nothing special, so I should just go for like a shadow ball. It's super effective. Well, never mind. I will learn another another time. Thinking. Uh, let's give Spear Shot some more screen time. We love Spear. Oh, whoops! 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 I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I just one shot at the uh, uh, Pokemon. And I was like, let's give Spear Shot some time, and he almost died, so... Uh, but that's great. Let's give Elsa some screen time. We love Elsa. See? For Thunderbolt. Yikes. That was a scary sound. Okay. Uh, I will go back and heal real quick. We'll also see if there's maybe a Grotto over here. Okay. Oh, there is a place to the right. Let me go check. Okay, there's no grotto, but there is a max repel. I will go back to um, the city and heal real quick, and then we will continue. Okay, and we're back. Uh, I also took like a quick look at what Pokemon I have to possibly use. I realistically only have a Venonet that I could use with poison type, and to be honest, Venomoth isn't horrible, but I uh, still, I'm not gonna use it. Hello, my friends. Ever since Pikatex became popular, nobody really um, has a need for the HMO2 anymore. I'd sell it to you, but I wouldn't blame you for not wanting to pay for it, you can just have it for free. Oh! Oh! So there are HMs still, I guess. That's interesting, I'm gonna skip that trainer. Just because um, I don't wanna overlevel. I, I mean, I'm already overleveled, so... But no Grotto's ability capsule. No idea what that is. It's said to be able to change the innate powers of a Pokemon. 
I'm maybe guessing that it changes the... My cat is playing around again. Changes the... What's it called? The ability of a Pokemon? That's a Grotto. Yes, I saw it. Yes. Yeah, it changes the ability, which... I have one Pokemon in mind, and that's our... Um, Croco... Crocodile. If I can make him Moxie or her, that would be insane. Okay, so we have a Grotto. Is that a Kecleon? Is that a Delta Munchlex? I think it's a Delta Munchlex, wait. It looks like a grass type. Um, let's put Hyperion up front. I mean, to be honest, what if it has Solar Beam and I'm setting it up the sun? Actually, no, no, let's not. Let's, let's put, just put Brains up front. That looks, a del that looks like a Delta. Oh, that looks so cool! Oh, it's only level 10. Okay, never mind. Um, I'll just be throwing some Pokeballs at it. Yeah, an ability capsule. Hmm. You know what? Actually, I will, whenever we um, get our um, egg for this Munchlex, I will actually go and check all the abilities on my Pokemon and see if there's maybe like. Oh. There's maybe like a Pokemon that could use like a better ability than I have currently. Okay. It's kind of getting scary. I mean, you're only level 10. Like, surely you will not be able to do anything. Okay, we got you. Um, I will see you guys back at the Poke Center. Oh, I by accident ran into this trainer. And it should be fine. Right? Let's go for a Moonblast. Actually, he could Mega Evolve into a Dragon type. Imagine if I predicted that. Okay, never mind. That would have been an insane prediction, but... I think Mega Emphras is Dragon type. I, I don't know. So, I mean, Mega Scepter is Dragon type. I know that for sure. Okay, my cat is around again. Um, I know... I think you're Poison type, so... You're not. Well, that was easy enough. I will continue going to the Poké Center. And we are back at Poké Center, ready to change our Munchlex, which by the way, really looks cool, I'm not gonna lie. I really love that Munchlex design. I forgot I have to change it for a party member first. And we're at box 9 now. We've really had so many encounters and I don't think we're even halfway through the game, so that's kind of insane. Let's get our randomizer up. Oh, I still this on. Let's go one out of six. We got a 4, and 1 out of 5, we got a 1, so 4, 1. Let's see who this is gonna be. 1, 2, 3, and 4. Cactus! Okay, probably Cacnea. Maybe if it's like a Delta form would be cool. Maybe Merectus, actually, because... <laughs> it's Merectus. Boring, but, I mean, why not? It might actually be a Poison type. Nope, just Grass type. Okay, so I'm back. I just also checked out all the Pokemon, even in my box that I have that I could maybe change the ability of. Um, they're really... Oh, actually, I forgot about Delta Venusaur. I forgot about him. Let's look it up together. I uh, should be able to see it. Yeah, I, I looked up basically everyone. Let's try, try this Venusaur. I'm the only one that really... Okay, so I uh, only have Psycho Call. Okay, well... Or Regenerator. Yeah, the only one that I was thinking about was... There was another Pokemon that could learn Regenerator too, I forgot who. Uh, but there was um, Delta Gardevoir. Okay, I cannot type my bad. Delta Gardevoir. Who has um, clear body right now, which ups the attack, I think. When it does something. But it learns, it can also have Lightning Rod. Which was like the only Pokemon I was really like thinking about, like maybe I should change her ability. Or, um, yeah, what's uh, Crocodile. But yeah, that's it. Only um, Crocodile or Elsa. So I just think I will not do anything. Now, also, I wanted to talk to... Okay, so the Snorlax. Okay. I thought maybe if I talked to it, I could wake it up, but I guess not. We're in Mira Town again. Ah, Mira Town, my favorite place in Thorn. What a lovely, lovely town. It's peaceful, serene, and built over the Shining Area, and of course, the World Islands. Now rest just a route away. It's almost a shame, really. Perhaps when I flood the region, I'll leave this town for last. Okay. At last, the sea is awakening once more. It's time to bring its king his crown. Interesting. Now, I'm I, I'm thinking about it. Why do I feel like we've already been here? 
I mean, I know if not, also my game is really laggy here for some reason. Um, I will also quickly... <laughs> before... Ah, let's do it together. What is it called again? Miara. Ah, Miara Town. Let's look up if there's like any... Miara Town. If there's any like fun stuff we can do, like any Pokemon. We can capture... Okay, so we can surf, we can fish... Okay, so we can do two trades. We can do an interaction to get a Sunkern. We can do another trade, another trade, another interaction. And another trade. Okay, so... I will only count the trade or interaction, so I'll probably do like an interaction with... Sunkern? I don't know where. I guess we can get a Sunkern and then I will surf for a Pokémon? Actually, but these are infinite. No. I don't think that's fair. No, I should probably do a trade. Yeah, I should probably do a trade and a um, capture. Do I even have a pseudo legendary? I mean, I have Xu. But do I really want to give up on an Xu? To be honest, I kind of do. Let's talk to some people. Jeffrey, one of the local celebrities, runs trades between Liara and other regions. Okay. The ship, uh, ship-like thing is just stuck near the south end of the town. Okay, nice. Pokemon healed and healthy. You need to stay, stay safe. You look really a bit too young to be going on such a long journey. What you can have these? I'm probably never going to use them anymore. Revise. Well, I'm al I'm also never going to use those. But thank you, anyways, Grandma. Um, I don't really see where I can fish, which is pretty important. Okay, you also have nothing special to say. You also have nothing special to say. Um, maybe in here? Hello. Check out the training center in our town. Where? Oh, thank you. Am I just missing something? Like, where do I have to... I mean, yeah, there's this place. Someone here wants to trade a Delta species Pokemon. Isn't that crazy? My hunter, your Vigorot, yes? I don't think I have a Vigorot. Actually, maybe I do. I have nothing to trade, okay. I'll trade you my Tropius for a Vibrava. I also do not have a Vibrava. I'll trade you my Machoke for a Beedrill. I also do not have a Beedrill. If you like to trade Pokemon with me, I don't really want my Sugma anymore. I'll accept any Pokemon for it. Okay. <laughs> Let's find a Pokemon to trade for a Slugma. So we can get another encounter. Oh, here's a Pokemon Center, okay. I also could not find the Pokemon Center. Actually, do we have a Vigorot? Why do I feel like we had a Vigorot? Oh no, that is Zangoose. Uh, who do I want to give away? Tony? I'm so sorry, Tony. I mean, you have a choice, but you know what? I'll give them the choice, Ben. I don't care. Let's trade you. And then I guess I will also try to find out where I have to go to fish. Or surf so I can get another encounter. Because I'm... I'm guessing that this counts like a static encounter, right? Of course, I'm not gonna trade with everyone, mainly because I can't. But I feel like that would just be kind of cheating. Okay, so that should turn into an egg token, yes. And I will then just try to find where I have to go to... to fish. And I'll see you back then, maybe in here. Oh, okay. Oh, there's a crowd on it's ready to pick up and toss anyone that tries to pass through here. It's waiting for someone? Oh. Okay, I think I have to do more story before I can... I'm sorry for that noise. Before I can get another encounter, but that's fine. I mean, we have a... <sighs> At least we have one. Um, egg we can hatch. I, I still have it as well. Try to get. Let's go to box them. Here we are. Let's get our Slugma. Level 12. Which sucks, but whatever. Go back to random.org. One out of six, we got a five. And one out of... Oops, five. We got a five, five, five. Perfect. It's all... No, it's right here, under the Riolu. We got Tumnus. Tumnus, Tumnus, Tumnus. I'm gonna guess one of these days I'm gonna get a completely random guess right. I'm gonna guess Tumnus is gonna be A. A... Starly. I don't know why, but well, let's see. 
Please be Delta. Oh, yes, the return. I don't know what it was called in the first season. But yes, I mean, only level 12, which sucks. Yeah, and you had no move, so you're probably not like great, but whatever. Okay, Thomas is cool. This is by the way, it's yeah. Delta! Wait, what? Your fairy time? Okay, it doesn't really work then. Okay, a Delta. I mean, you can like mega evolve. Yeah, it's kinda, it's kinda cool. But yeah, I will not use you, I think I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, I'm also gonna end the episode right here. Um, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye.